Hey YouTube, it's Jurek. So back here again with a repair. My last video, I told you guys about the broken sewer pump or pipe on my RV. Uh, what happened was that I was driving down the highway, and an animal came out. I avoided the animal with my truck, but unfortunately, it kept running and it ran underneath or between the truck and the fifth wheel, and then of course got run over. Unfortunately, it passed away, and then the animal hitting my trailer broke off the sewer pipe. So what we're gonna to do today is see if we can repair this. So I got a, I bought a few things that I think we're gonna to need to repair this and I'll just uh, go through that quickly. So what I got is, well, of course the old one with the caps that I bought was a uh, three foot length of ABS pipe, three inch. But, 245s, a new end, end cap coupler for the uh, for the cap to go on and the exhaust and the hose, the sewer hose to hook on to. Uh, the glue, of course, the ABS glue. I bought a couple of uh, couplers in case I need it. I'm not sure. I haven't cut the underbelly open yet. Uh, some black waterproof tape to uh, tape up the uh, membrane underneath because I have to cut. And some sandpaper just to sand the edges of everything when they're together so we don't have anything that toilet paper can can get snagged on if it's going through so oh and some uh, silicone adhesive to uh, as you can see on here it looks like it was siliconed up onto the black underbelly so I'm gonna do the exact same thing I'm gonna re-silicone it all when I'm all done so we're gonna take a look underneath the uh, RV and uh, see what we got Okay, so we're underneath here. You see the strap broke off. It also broke the the black tank flush handle. So I ordered a new one. And you can see in there where it broke off. Clean break. Luckily nothing else was uh, damaged underneath here, but it looks like that there was some kind of repair here before because there's all kinds of black tape. So I'm going to remove that black tape. Uh, Move this uh, bracket so I can see what's going on. Just removing this handle out of the way. This might have been bent too. I just took that off. I always try to use one of these little metal trays for the screws because you put the screws in, even if you dump the tray over, the screws stay in. Take the strap thing off here because it's broken as well. Put a new one on. So, uh, this is a flexible gas line. I'm gonna unscrew that. Just the uh, mounting bracket, not the actual gas line. Okay, let's see what we got here. Must have fished just through. It must have disconnected the gas line somewhere to fish that through because there's no split in here. So for now, I'm just gonna. sure how they got this pipe on. I'm going to remove some of these, make it easier to get. Pull that piece out. 
Yeah, it's really good for flashing. There it goes. Maybe I should just disconnect it. I can. I can disconnect the gas line from right up to there and then be able to pull it through the hole. There's, the gas, of course, is off, so it's not like it's a problem. I'm gonna go check that out. Okay, so all I did was I uh, disconnected. Come on, focus. Disconnected the gas line from there, just unscrewed it. Pretty simple. Took off the remaining brackets to hold it in place. Feed the gas line through this panel. Let's say maybe I can save this panel. And then pull it right out. There we go. So that was quite simple. The gas is off, like I said, there's no gas on. So then in here, you can see way better. You can see where it broke off. I got the two uh, gate valves, which are okay, they're in good shape. So it looks like it busted right off on the female end, just where, where it connects to. The Y adapter where it connects the gray and black tank. So, yeah, there's a better shot of it right there. There's a Y adapter. It's only got like a half an inch if I cut it off. I only got a half an inch to put it on. Might have to buy. No, don't want to do that. I heard that there's a tool you can get for reaming the inside of this pipe out. I'm going to have to check into that to see if I can... I think you can rent something at your hardware store that will fit in there and just ream the old pipe out. So you don't have to replace... I don't have to replace this Y-valve. Let me go check on that and then I'll get back to you guys. So I'm going to cut cut this a little bit more so I can see what I'm doing here try to keep it straight I'm not going to cut the edge off I'm just going to flap it down there we go you think I can buy this stuff you can buy this, this uh, kind of board at uh, Walmart or anything like that so, you see the fitting in there good. So I call my local hardware store to see if they have a ram bit, which is a special bit designed to go in here and eat out this inside. Of course they don't have one, because I live in a small town. So, uh, I've seen a few people what they've done is they use the torch, torched it up inside, and then hopefully the glue works loose and you can chip it out, as well as uh, using a little saw and cutting cutting lines in it so I'm gonna try that first I'm gonna cut a few lines in it and then uh, we'll see if uh, if that will help I don't know if this is a good blade I'm gonna change it I brought a few of them but I hope you can see that I yeah, sort of can I'll definitely fast forward this part If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to replace this Y. It's completely Y in here, which I don't really wanna do because you can see how close it is to the check valve is right here for the gray tank. And there's not much there. I mean, I might would have to replace all this and I really don't wanna do that. So I'm hoping this is gonna work to get the most of the meat out in here by sawing some lines, heating it up and then trying to pry it away pry away from the, the main Y pipe and not damage it. Then then use a whole ton of glue when I put it back in there to glue it back together. Nothing's easy.
take a look at that see that so it's just about through already okay so I got them all done I got three of them cut so I'm gonna heat it up a little bit Don't want to get it to catch fire. And then I'm going to try to pry it off without breaking anything. If it breaks, well, my next option is to cut it. It's definitely loosening up, but I don't know how much. <clears throat> I'm working it slowly. I'm gonna heat it a little bit. So I do have a fire extinguisher in case people are wondering. So if you can see there, it's actually starting to work. You can see how, look at that, how it's separating already. So see, I'm gonna to try to do that, work it all the way around and pull it down. Get it all out, clean it up as best I can. Look how nice that is, it's just starting to peel back. Look at that. See that? Peeling it right back. It's a little bit of heat. Don't want to damage the outer pipe. Not too hot. This is very pliable. And this is why you cut it, so you don't have this huge piece you're trying to trying to get out at the same time. I'm going to give it a little bit more heat. I think I got it at the first piece out. Bam! First piece is out. So take a look at that. So, still intact. I mean, I may have to sand it or grind the outside piece down a little bit to, to fit in there snug. So I'm going to do that for the remaining two sections. A little bit of heat at a time. Twisting it, rolling it back onto itself to try to loosen it up so I don't pry too much on this outer rim. I can see there's a couple of pieces in here that are still stuck, but they're soft, so I can still force them out. It's harder working on the bottom part because you can't see. Feel the outside casing moving a little bit, so I'm gonna give that a second to cool. Be right back.
So I'll just give you just a closer view here how it's working. So after you heat it up in a few seconds, it penetrates, you know, through the pipe, and you can see how it's separating the glue and not really deforming too much of the outside of the pipe, which is what we want. I'm trying to always work, always work this way, of not to not work down to put pressure on the outside, but put pressure on the inside of the pipe where it's much more uh, strong. piece so I mean what was that a half hour half hour of uh, work probably saved myself two hours of cutting and replacing and probably 300 bucks or two hundred dollars worth of well maybe a hundred dollars worth of stuff so there's a little bit of stuff in there I'll uh, sand it down a little bit I'm gonna let it harden first so I'll be back in a couple of minutes when this all hardens back up